hello guys welcome back so far we have seen how to assign one item to one variable but what about we want to assign multiple items or values to a particular variable let's say we want to store a collection of some items some ip addresses the name of students in a particular school the average age of some student or even the names of cities towns the average ages or the score of some exams that some students perform how can we do this we have something called the collection data types that is list set tuple and then dates we will start with list and see what we can do with list now list is a collection of items that are ordered and mutable when we say mutable we mean changeable as we got to understand in strings all right so with lists we can actually store multiple names in one variable and we do that by using square bracket to represent list and then we separate the items with comma all right so if we want to save multiple names here so let's name the variable let's say names and then here we can have done comma let's say musa comma let's say ben and then if we try to print names now you will get done Musa and Ben. All right, so this is how we use list. And as you have seen in the previous videos, that you can actually define an empty string as either str like this, and then if we print a, we will get an empty string. Okay, so if we print a, we are getting nothing or you can actually define an empty string with single quotes like this or double quotes as we have seen and then if you print this we also get none so with list you can actually say an empty square bracket and if you print it we are getting this or you can say lists by using the list function okay and then if you run this you get the same thing so this is how we define an empty list can do this and later we add some items to the list so it's like if you are developing a shopping let's say website you have to let the cart of the user be an empty right you can use list to represent that and as the user is adding an item if you later use something called list method that we are going to use append then you add items later to the list so with list we can actually store different data types in a list it's not by force that we should use one data type in a list list can be either heterogeneous or homogeneous set of items right so we can actually have one two then we can actually use true here the boolean data type we can use force just separate them with commas we can also use john anything that we want it can contain different data types and also floating point number let's say 2.8 and if you try to print my list it works all right so list can store different data types we can actually concatenate to list so let me uncomment this one and then if we try here print my list plus names let's see what we will get you see what we have gotten my list has been extended with the names list so we can also do that if you are coming from a different programming background you might know list as arrays okay in some programming languages list is known as array so that is what it is in python list we can also have nested list 
so if we say new list equals then we say names comma my list all right let's see what we will get here and if you try to print new list now let's see what we will get we are getting the first one to be names list and then the second one to be my list so we can actually nest list and if you are using only numbers we can nest list to for it to become like a matrix okay list is a very powerful data type in python in the next video we are going to explore more about list bye bye for now see you in the next video